before setting out, Prime Minister May said she would tell President Trump she wanted a renewed special relationship between the US and the UK, ties that bind in a post-Brexit world. I'm pleased that I am able to meet President Trump so early in his administration. That is a sign of the strength of the special relationship between the United Kingdom and the United States of America. The phrase special relationship dates back to Europe's dark days of war when the US and the UK, two English language nations, fought alongside each other. Call me Mr. Brexit. These days, it's the apparent populism of Brexit that props up the special relationship. Nigel Farage, a lead Brexit campaigner, a significant totem in the Trump election campaign. Mr. Nigel Farage. And it's possibly that Brexit link that makes President Trump want to put a UK Prime Minister at the head of a queue for talks. Or is it a put-down for his predecessor, who famously dismissed Britain's place on a post-Brexit world stage. And UK is going to be in the back of the queue. Trump makes an apparently incongruous partner for May, the brash New York property tycoon and the understated daughter of a provincial Church of England vicar. Not obvious soulmates, as was the case with Ronald Reagan and Margaret Thatcher. But Trump, it's reported, wants some of that old political magic in his dealings with May. Then there are the differences. At the Davos get-together of the rich and powerful in Switzerland, Prime Minister May made the case for a globalised post-Brexit Britain. We seek the freedom to strike new trade deals with old friends and new allies. Trump, by policy, appears more inward-looking. America first. America first. Observers, though, say a US-UK special relationship for the new politics of the 21st century might just work. The point here is it's been given a shot in the arm, a kind of a collagen injection, if you like. Thing. So the special relationship, you know, seems relevant again in different circumstances. Prime Minister May's aware President Trump's a controversial figure for some, but she says she won't be cowed. I am not afraid to speak frankly to a president of the United States. <laughs> the reality is that Prime Minister May needs a good meeting to bolster Britain's trade prospects ahead of what will be difficult Brexit talks with the European Union. And being President Trump's new best friend in Europe is at least a positive role. Richard Bestick, CGTN, London.